At this time, we want to bring up Pastor David Bullock. He is the pastor of the Greater St. Matthew Baptist Church out of Highland Park, Michigan. He's also the state chairman of the committee to stand up for democracy. Let us give him a hand while he comes. Repeat after me. Democracy. democracy. Now. now. Democracy. democracy. Now. now. Justice. Now. now. Liberty. Liberty. Now. now. Freedom. Freedom. Now. now. We march too long. We march too long. We march too long. We march too long. Justice now. Democracy now. Freedom now. Save the children. Save our jobs. Save our homes. Save our schools. Democracy now. Let me hear you scream. My name is David Bullock, pastor of the Greater St. Matthew Baptist Church, Highland Park, Michigan. Bethany Baptist Church, Detroit, a part of the committee to stand up for democracy, but I also serve as the state coordinator for Rainbow Push Michigan. Our national president was here over the weekend. I'm sorry I could not be here with him, but Mother's Day duties called me to my pulpit. I could not let the good folk in Highland Park not have their pastor in the pulpit on that day. But I got a call from my national president we're excited about what's going on in Flint, Michigan. And I'm here today to do a couple things. One, to say you're not alone. That this is not a Flint issue. Public Act 4 is public policy. It is legislation that affects the entire state. This is Benton Harbor. This is Highland Park. This is Detroit. This is Hamtramck. This is Inkster. This is Ecos. This is Saginaw. This is Flint. And so don't let people tell you that this is just a Flint city government issue. This is a state problem. We are being disenfranchised across the entire state of Michigan. Michigan is the new Mississippi. Liberty is being lynched in Michigan. Democracy being destroyed in the name of financial stability. Now you tell me when was the last time anybody with a brain knew that you had to get rid of democracy to fix the budget. Democracy and, and the economy don't have anything to do with each other. In fact, democracy keeps accountability in place so that you can make sure that there is a community voice about how dollars should be spent. And when people take democracy off the table, what they're taking off the table are the eyes of the community. And so we want accountability, we want integrity, we stand for liberty, and we fight for democracy in Flint, in Detroit, in Benton Harbor, in Saginaw, in Michigan, and the nation. Let me say this, it was Rosa Parks who ignited a movement many years ago, and God it never changes, God uses the same strategy all the time. And so this time it was Pastor Flynn to ignite a movement. But if we had rallied for Rosa because she went to jail and did not fight to change the law that sent her to jail, then our rallying would have been in vain. And so while we stand with Pastor Flynn today and rally for him, it is not right. You do not touch the man of God. You do not touch our community leaders. You do not accost and assault those who, has, who speak with authority. We cannot stand with him and then loot, let our hands go of the plow and not fight against emergency managers wherever they are. Let me remind you, let me remind you that if you are the overseer, if you are the slave master, if you are the slave, then you cannot in good conscience say you stand for freedom and support the system of slavery. So if you are the emergency manager, if you are the city appointed bureaucrat, if you are the state appointed leader, you cannot say you stand with us and for democracy and at the same time support a system that has a stranglehold over the right to vote. This makes our vote null and void. They got voter suppression. They got Public Act 4. 
Financial stability, but no economic recovery. Public safety is a problem. You can't fix public safety if you're not going to bring jobs to urban America. And you saw what those board of canvases did. We collected 226,000 signatures, 226,000 registered voters in the state of Michigan from all around the state of Michigan said they wanted to at least have the opportunity to decide whether or not Michigan should have legislation that sends emergency dictators, I mean managers, into cities and school districts and takes the right to vote. And they denied us on a technicality saying that the font size on the heading of the petition was too small. Anybody with a computer knows that 14.5 looks different depending upon what the font size is. But you had two Republicans who were not about Republic, what were about their party, that stole our opportunity to decide in November whether or not we even wanted this legislation in our state. Somebody ought to say this is not right. This will not stand. We ain't going to take it no more. And then to add insult to injury, where are the emergency managers? All black cities. Flint. Benton Harbor. Detroit. The consent agreement is just emergency management by a board. Look where they're sending the emergency managers. Highland Park. These are highly populated African American cities in Michigan and I talked to Governor Snyder and I told him if it walked like a duck <laughs> if it talked like a duck then it must be a duck if it looked like racism y'all ain't in here today if it smelled like racism if it feels like racism somebody ought to open up their mouth and say it's racism Don't tell me you didn't know these were black cities. And so my brothers and sisters, I'm, I'm gonna take my rest here. I got Pastor Charles Williams with me from National Action Network. I've got Pastor Maurice Rudds from Greater Mount Tabor Church. We've got Pastor Tafuri Brent from Detroit Branch NAACP because we're in this fight together. And this is not a sprint, this is a marathon. Yeah. And I know y'all good Christian folks, so let me remind you, the race is not given to the swift. Yes, or to the strong, but to the ones who endure to the, to the end. We've got to register folks to vote. we got to fight against voter suppression. If you can meet us in Detroit on Thursday at 10 o'clock at, at Cadillac Place, meet us there. But we must stand up. Today is not the end of our movement. It is the beginning of our movement. And when we fight, we win. We never lost the battle that we fought. We never won a battle unless we fought. Somebody ought to have some authority and say, it is fighting time.